He is a fantastic name to kick off the John Smith's Grand National Meeting 2010. This is the BGC Partners Liverpool Hurdle Race. It was recently upgraded. It is now a Grade 1 race with a total prize fund of £100,000. All the action at Aintree gets underway now here on Racing UK. And to call them home for the opener, let's say a very good afternoon to Mark Johnson. Good afternoon, Nick. Good afternoon, everyone. What a tremendous start and what a tremendous buzz, as yourself and Mark were saying down in the paddock. I can echo that out here. I've never seen a crowd this big on the opening day of a John Smith's Grand National meeting. There is a tremendous buzz about this great old place and uh, what a great grade one start. It's now post time. The runner's now about to make the way out onto the track. The starter is at the top of his rostrum. Starting in the home straight with one flight to take before they come past the enclosures. Let the party begin. They're off for the BGC Partners Liverpool Hurdle Grade 1. They race over the extended three miles. And Cape Aramis is the first to break the line with Boogler in the dark blue, the white and black on the inside of Possol as they go over the first flight of hurdles. The back marker held up was Tidal Bay. So a long run now before they cross over flight number two, which will be the second of the 13 they take in the Liverpool hurdle with Cape Aramis and Paddy Brennan out in front. Possol against the inside rail for Richard Johnson in second. Boogler and Jack Doyle on the outside in third. And then with his head bowed, it is Big Bats racing in fourth position between horses. On the inside is Souffleur. On his outside, Wolf Moon. And the back marker a further length and a half away. Tidal Bay in the hands of Brian Hughes. So they swing by the Grand National start, making their way now towards the back straight. The winners of 43 races under National Hunt rules went to post for this race. And leading the way is Cape Aramis. To Possol on the inside in second and out wide, Boogler is in third. And then just shading fourth, Souffleur towards the inside of the champion, Big Bucks with the red sleeves, red cap. Towards the outside is Wolf Moon. As it crossed over flight number two, Tidal Bay was still the back marker. And he is racing some five lengths off the leaders. And now it's leaders plural as Possol moves up on the inside of Cape Aramis on this short run down towards flight number three. Break then of a length and a half to the third horse, Boogler, and then further length and a half to Big Bucks as they go over that flight of hurdles, and Possol jumped it much quicker than Cape Aramis, who just spent a little bit of time in the air and has now been relegated back to second place. Followed then a length and a half away by Boogler in third and Big Bucks in fourth, and Wolf Moon is in fifth, and Soupler is in sixth, and Tidal Bay is last of the seven as they go over the final flight of the line of three, taken down the back straight. All safe at flight number four, and now another long run, which will bring them into the home straight, where a line of three more flights awaits them. And it's Cape Aramis and Paddy Brennan towards the outside of Possol and Richard Johnson. Richard Johnson looking for a third win in the Liverpool hurdle. So too the trainer of Possol, Henry Daly, having taken this race with Mighty Man in 2006 and 2007. Possol towards the inside of Cape Aramis, little between these two. Boogler's racing back in third, and Big Bucks looking for his third consecutive win at an Aintree Grand National Festival is in fourth position. Towards the outside is Wolf Moon, towards the inside, Souffleur is looking for a third win at Aintree, and the back marker is Tidal Bay. So coming into the home straight, and as they do so, it is Possol running the rail. The green colours of Cape Aramis and still a little wide. Boogler racing in third as they cross over the first flight down the home straight. They're all safely over. Then Big Bucks racing in fourth position. On his inside, the white and blue of Souffleur. The beige and grey on his outside, Wolf Moon. Still the back marker, Tidal Bay, as he's been throughout. Possol got in a little tight there to flight number six and a slight peck on landing on the outside from Boogler, but neither made a serious error. As they race on now, they've completed the circuit of the course, going towards halfway now in the BGC Partners Liverpool hurdle. Possol on the inside of Cape Aramis, still joined at the hip. A break of a length and a half to Boogler, who's racing in third. And then a further length and a half back to Big Bucks, who's between horses, keeping him company throughout. Souffleur on the rail, towards the outside, Wolf Moon, and still the back marker, it's Tidal Bay. One more circuit to go, all the cards are yet to be played. On the inside, Possol towards the outside, Cape Aramis. Still that length and a tail break to Boogler, Big Bucks, travelled sweetly so far for Ruby Walsh. And the first one now just to feel the pinch is Wolf Moon, out wide, Warren Marston just beginning to niggle along now on the outsider. 
Souffleurs towards the inside, Tidal Bay. It's still the back marker. As they swing now down the back straight, this next flight comes up very quickly off the turn, and they've definitely quickened it up going to this flight of hurdles. And Possol didn't see a great stride there, and he was out-jumped by Cape Aramis to his outer. Still a break of a length and a half. Back to Bugler, who's racing in third position. Big Box is just swinging along, racing in fourth. On the inside, Souffleur. Still being niggled along Wolf Moon, and creeping just a little closer, Tidal Bay, but yet to fight, uh, go past a rival. As they go now over flight number nine, and Possol and Cape Aramis once again in the the air together towards the outside is Boogler. On the inside, next came Souffler with Big Buck still going supremely well. And then driven to the outside, Wolf Moon and Tidal Bay at the back of the field. As they go now towards the fourth round, home, Cape Aramis he went for a big stride there. He jumps it well out now in front by three parts of a length to the outside. Boogler in second now rallying back on the inside is Possol. Still, he waits to pounce on Big Buck's racing in fourth position towards the inside. In fifth is Souffler as they make this long journey down the side of the course and it's bubbling up now with Possel on the inside he's wrestled the lead once more from Cape Aramis and then Boogler who's always sat in third Big Bucks is there in fourth unhurried driven now Tidal Bay on the outside in fifth Souffler towards his inside and tailing off his Wolf Moon as heads turn into the home straight three flights to take in the BGC partners Liverpool hurdle and Ruby Walsh for the first time now asks Big Bucks to get a little bit closer he's beginning to push him along as Possel now goes for home Richard Johnson. It is Possol who's out in front. Cape Aramis towards his outside. Big Bucks towards the inside with a length and a half to fight. Boogler was over back in fourth position, followed by Souffler. And now Ruby Walsh is getting more vigorous on Big Bucks. And Possol is still out in front here by a length and a half to Big Bucks racing in second position. And then back in third is Souffler. Then Boogler and Cape Aramis and Tidal Bay. They've got now a furlong and a half to go. One more flight to take. Big Bucks has now taken the lead on the inside there in second. And his puzzle is really a mighty race. Souffle was over in third. They're outside the final furlong now. Big Bucks is now being pushed out. He's gone clear by two and a half lengths. Puzzle on the inside. Souffle on the outside. But the reigning champion reigns supreme as they race up towards the line. Big Bucks, three straight wins at the John Smith's Grand National Festival. Eight straight wins in his career. Big Bucks wins again. Souffle and Puzzle chased home his shadow and back in fourth, Tidal Bay. Today he had to work that little bit harder, but as so often in the past, he was dominant where it mattered. And Big Bucks wins again. He is quite simply the best in this division.